people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another fantastic FNAF news video, we got a whole bunch of amazing topics to talk about, we got some crazy new reveals coming from Funko, some amazing news regarding some games in the Fazbear fanverse, as well as just, just a little, just a little dash of FNAF movie news at the end. So if you're excited for all the FNAF news and you're new to the channel, scroll down, subscribe, because you don't want to miss out on any more FNAF news, and let's just hop right into it, starting off with some brand new merchandise coming from Hot Topic, because we've got a brand new hoodie and turn Turntail is back at it again. Her fantastic illustration of Springtrap brutally tearing off the head of Glitchtrap is now on this hoodie. The product itself is a little cheesy when you look on the back and it says, I always come back. But I'm definitely not going to complain when we get more art from Turntail. Sticking with Hot Topic, we got two brand new shirts. The first one featuring the FNAF 1 gang. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, of course, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. For some reason, it's got faded text saying, you have the Night Watch, which is a quote from the very first FNAF games trailer. They're also blue and they're in some sort of green gas i'm not gonna question what's going on with them and then we've got another shirt this time featuring some of the nightmare animatronics from the fourth fnaf game nightmare chica foxy mangle fred bear even nightmare yon and nightmare bb from the halloween update springtrap as well he's just kind of there some more faded text with yet another reference this time seemingly to a fnaf fan song and lastly we got a plain white t-shirt featuring some artwork of circus baby moving on now to funko their weird photo negative glamrock freddy action figure is now available on their website. This guy is going to be exclusive to Funko site, so if you do want to pick him up, I'd highly recommend doing it sooner rather than later, because I'm sure it's going to be pretty rare. Moving on now to their brand new Halloween line of products. You may remember we've seen the pop figures as well as the action figures. Well, we're still waiting on those plushies, but hopefully it seems like we won't have to wait too much longer, because someone was able to find Gingerbread Foxy, one of the plushies in the wave, and this is what he looks like. He's going to be releasing alongside the other holiday plushies as well. Santa to Freddy, Elf Bonnie, Snow Chica, and also Nutcracker Foxy. All of those characters are getting plushies, so hopefully we can see the rest pretty soon. Sticking with the holiday line of products, we got a first look at the Pop Pez. Now, interestingly enough, these guys actually don't follow the theme of having Santa Freddy, Elf Bonnie, etc. Instead, it seems like they're using the designs from the holiday pint size hero calendar. Now, these products are also going to be quite limited. Only 1,500 of each character are going to be made. That's 1,500 of Freddy, 1,500 of Foxy. Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, you know. So some more merchandise that if you do want them, I'd highly recommend getting them as soon as they release. And lastly for Funko, we got the strangest reveal of all time, I feel like. We got FNAF World Merchandise in 2023. This is our first look at Funko's brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Fight Line collectible battle game. And as you can see from the cover alone, it seems like it's using the designs based on the adventure characters from, again, FNAF World. And looking on the back of the box, it seems like that assumption is pretty justified. You can see other FNAF World designs, like the Crying Child, the Endo-01, Lolbit, even Red Bear, who's an enemy in FNAF World, Purple Guy, the Marionette, Shadow Freddy, Balloon Boy, they all look exactly like what they look like in the game. Weirdly enough, though, you got characters that were not in FNAF World, like Circus Baby, as well as the chocolate variants of Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. This is one of those games where if you get the base game, you just get a few figurines to play with, though we do know they will be selling character packs featuring other FNAF characters. Seems like the first character pack is going to have have all the characters listed here. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this product. It's super, super weird to get merchandise based on FNAF World, a game from 2016 that Scott doesn't like a whole lot. To get merchandise like this in 2023 using those designs and especially characters that were not in FNAF World like Baby and the Chocolate Guys. Who knows, maybe Scott's secretly making FNAF World 2 with the chocolate characters and Circus Baby. Moving on now to U2, since we last had a FNAF news video, they released their flocked FNAF 1 figurines. Those currently are still available though, something that is not available at all because it sold out in five minutes was that limited edition FNAF 1 print that only got 125 copies made. That is certainly going to be one of the rarest products we've gotten from U2s. They've also teased a four foot tall Glamrock Freddy plushie, though unfortunately this guy will not be for sale. Instead, he's going to be featured at some sort of convention sometime soon. A lot of people speculating it could be PAX West because Steel World does have a giant booth they're setting up. They did also say there will be giveaways, so if there's a giveaway for this guy, I would not be surprised. And lastly, for you twos, they teased another Freddy figure, though this time, he's gonna be holding your phone. That's right, a Freddy Fazbear phone holder figure. I never thought I'd see the day, but I love him. And now let's move right along to the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, because we got some amazing new updates on T-Jock and Pop Goes. First up, we've got the second gameplay demo being revealed by Nixon for the Joy of Creation Ignited Collection. This shows off a bit more of the office level, which, as I'm sure we're all 
familiar with at this point is the first level in the brand new story mode. This has been reworked quite a bit. You're seeing once again some gameplay on your screen right now. If you miss what has changed with the update, we went super in depth in a previous FNAF news video. I'd highly recommend checking that out. I'll leave it linked down below. The big new change we can see in this gameplay footage is the reveal of the battery station. Nixon revealed that there was a whole brand new room in the office level dedicated to resetting the fuses. An amazing new look at T-Jock the Ignited Collection. The more Nixon reveals for this game, the more hyped I get. I'm sure much like you guys, T-Jock was always one of my favorite FNAF fan games, so I absolutely cannot wait to play the Ignited Collection. And thankfully, we might not actually have to wait too much longer. Because Nixon just casually dropped the fact that the T-Jock Ignited Collection office demo is planned to be released before the end of this year, 2023. So only in a few months now, we're going to actually get our hands on an official demo for the Ignited Collection featuring the first level in the story mode. Like I said, however, T-Jock was not the only fanverse game to get some major updates. We got Kane Carter showing off an early build of Pop Goes Evergreen. Now, what is featured in this gameplay preview? Well, thankfully, Kane made a handy dandy list. The AI movement for Pop Goes the Weasel, some Perma Panic reactive music, a whole bunch of visuals for High Panic, the reveal of Camera 4, which is the main hall, and some more features new to this video, a whole bunch of visual and animation updates. Implemented but not shown is the phone stealing animation. And lastly, jump scares for Blake, Sarah, Saffron Stone, and Black Rabbit. So actually taking a look at the gameplay preview right now, we can see there is the main hall reveal. We get some turning animations, some animations for the panic bar rising. Seems like we get some visual disturbances as the panic bar rises. That makes a whole lot of sense. Like Kane said, we can see some Pop Goes AI in action, moving around the Pop Goes pizzeria, trying to get to a printer to print out Black Rabbit. We can switch to the next cam, which is camera number six, and we can see Pop Goes now at the printer. He gets a piece. We go back to another camera. We can actually see Blake's camera here in the server room. And of course, when we click on the server, room camera our tray opens up to reveal the simon says buttons our panic starts to build a little bit more as pop goes makes his way back to the dining area <laughs> And just like T-Jock, this is another fantastic gameplay showcase for a fanverse project. The visuals, the animation, the jump scare sound is absolutely terrifying. And this is not me trying to knock on the devs, but actually seeing programming get done for the game and seeing it come to life has just been absolutely fantastic. So what are your thoughts so far on the gameplay for T-Jock, the Ignited Collection, as well as Pop Goes Evergreen? And now let's move on to some very quick FNAF movie news. Because we've got Trends International officially releasing very soon the official posters for the FNAF film. Nothing too fancy, it's stuff we've seen before, the close-up shots of Freddy, Foxy, Chica, Bonnie, as well as all four of the characters, and of course Mr. Cupcake, lined up with that group shot with the official logo for the film. They look super cool, they're very cheap as well, I don't know if that four, you know, and a half dollars price is accurate, but if so, I'm definitely gonna be picking all of them up. But that is going to do it for this FNAF news video, we're only two months away, less than two months now, from the official release of the film. It is a very, very exciting time to be a FNAF fan, and and of course, in a few days, we get our first proper look at Help Wanted 2 at PAX West, which just to reiterate is going to be happening from the 1st of September to the 4th. So definitely expect a lot of FNAF news then. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.